Hi there, my name is Jan and I work at the European Food Safety Authority, EFSA, where I'm involved in the environmental risk assessment of genetically modified plants. Today, I will briefly explain you what we mean by environmental risk assessment and why it's so important. The environment is a broad concept that describes our biophysical surroundings. It includes air, water, land and living organisms such as plant and wildlife. Environmental risk assessment is a scientific process that identifies and evaluates threats to the environment, in particular to living organisms, their habitats and ecosystems. The causes of environmental threats are diverse. Some are largely natural, for example, earthquakes or volcanic eruptions, whilst others might be the result of human activity, such as industrialization and urbanization. Think, for instance, about air pollution, toxic chemicals in food and water, poor housing and sanitation. In the European food safety system, EFSA is responsible for carrying out risk assessment of products which may have a direct or indirect impact on food and feed safety. Because the use of these products may pose risks to the environment, EFSA also considers these environmental risks in its assessments. EFSA performs environmental risk assessment in a number of areas, such as genetically modified organisms, pesticides, plant pests, invasive plant species and feed additives. The purpose of these assessments is to assess the seriousness and the likelihood of harm to the environment which might arise following a specific activity such as the cultivation of a particular GM plant or the application of pesticides. These assessments follow several stages beginning with problem formulation. Problem formulation is the first critical step because it defines the scope of the environmental risk assessment by specifying what needs to be protected from harm and by identifying potential harmful effects. Problem formulation is then followed by a hazard and an exposure characterization. In the hazard characterization, potential hazards and the seriousness of potential harm are examined, whilst the exposure characterization considers the likelihood and the level of exposure to the hazard and thus how likely it is that harm will occur. The final step involves the characterization of risk. Here, the seriousness and the likelihood of harm are combined to estimate the level of risk. In some cases, the environmental risk assessment also includes risk mitigation measures such measures aim to reduce an identified risk to an acceptable level or a level of no concern. The environmental risk assessments carried out by EFSA help risk managers and policymakers at the European and national level to ensure that products that are put on the market do not cause unacceptable harm to the environment. Thank you for your attention.